Hey guys, James here again from Replica Reviews. Now today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. This is a video that's been requested um, actually by a viewer who wanted to see what happens when we use the Excite low ricochet BBs um, in Baikal Makarovs. So I've sort of delved into my collection and bought out this one here. Now this is a T04. We will try them through this first. And then just because obviously I'm aware this is a slightly different version uh, to the current Gen 5s, I've also bought out um, what's kind of marketed or what is serial numbered as a T12. So this is a Gen 5. If you go into anywhere that stocks Makarovs at the moment, this is probably going to be the one that you'll come out with. So my theory is two slightly different Makarovs of different generations. So depending on which one you own, hopefully I should be able to show you either one. Now I've got two targets. You can just see the top of the, uh, one of them down behind me. One is a paper target, um, just see what the accuracy is like grouping wise. Um, for the purposes of this test, I'll be using the Gen 5 for that one. And I've also got just below it a steel target. Um, it's literally just a metal plate. So you can see my safety glass is on top. And we're going to explore quite how low ricochet these things are. So I'm going to move out a little bit further maybe than I usually shoot pistols. Um, we'll do the target on the top at 5 yards, but I might be very tempted just to move out to 10 yards for the plate, obviously because I don't really want to end up wearing lead. So anyway, let's crack on, let's see what these things can do against targets. Okay, so as I say, for this test we are going to be using the Gen 5. So this is a T12 if you go off the serial number, or Generation 5 if you're going off the Gen number. Now I've put 10 shots in here. They have all loaded into the magazine without any problem at all. If you're used to shooting gamo lead shot with these things, you'll know sometimes they won't go in for the top hole. They're an absolute bugger and they don't feed. So anyway, test one as such, they've all loaded brilliantly. As you can see, I've got my target down behind me. So the following shots are going to be 10 shots on target in single action. Uh, and we'll see what groupings we can pull off. Now obviously these aren't bench rested shots, so we've got to take into account my ability to shoot pistols as well as obviously the ability of these BBs. So let's crack on and see what they can do. Okay guys, so that is all of the shots. Let's move in, see what happened. Okay guys, so those are the results. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sort of distinct holes. And then this one here is quite a, a large hole. So there's a possibility one has gone through there. But as I say, not too bad of a grouping. Um, typical James fashion, they've shot off to the right. What I might do is just do a further 10 shots and I'll aim for six and we'll see, see what happens there. Okay, so as I said, just at the target, guys, we're going to do another 10 shots down on the paper target behind with a Gen 5 or T12, whatever way you want to work off it. So as I say, 10 shots, let's see what we can achieve. So I don't think this is going to come out, but you can just see, hopefully, that we have our first blockage. So what I'm going to do is just remove the slide and we'll have a look what's going on. Okay, so with the slide off, you can see that we've got one there that's definitely been battered. Now, it might not come out on the camera, but from what I can see at the moment, it's definitely been scratched. So I think it's possibly been compressed and mis-sort of deformed 
in the magazine itself. Um, so yeah, we'll stop conclusion with this and we'll move to my um, 04 and yeah, we'll see if the results on that are any different. Okay, so we have my old T04 and 10 rounds in this magazine. Now again, they loaded into the magazine without fault. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna test the, the kind of the ricochet properties of them. So I'm gonna put 10 rounds on the steel plate, which is the bottom one of the, the two. Obviously gonna use my safety specs because I don't know what direction these things are gonna go in. I have angled the board slightly down. So I'm hoping if they are gonna come back, it will come out sort of towards my feet. And we are stood at a sufficient distance. I think even if they do kind of strike, we're not going to get too many issues. Now, I would say at this point, do not try this at home. Um, yeah, not advised. So anyway, let's load up. Single action, I'll be doing all the shots with. So I'll be cocking, shooting, cocking, shooting. Um, try and get a decent bit of accuracy. And then we'll move in, have a look at the target. And we'll see if, I still, uh, if I'm still in one piece. So we've got a blockage. Okay, so quick inspection of the barrel just there. What happens, or what looks like it's happened, is as it, they've been stacked in the magazine, they're very soft and they're getting flat spots. And I think what's happened is it's gone into the magazine, one of those flat spots has just been enough just to, to butt it up and it just wasn't gonna work. So what I've done is, for anybody that's interested, I've fashioned a cleaning rod out of this stick with my Lansky World Legal. Um, just took some nubbings off, put it down and just wedge that, uh, just packed it in just to get that round to, to pop back out and then what it did, it was massacred. So what I'm going to do is we'll give it another try, I'm all for second chances. So I'll put my, my trusty knife away and my cleaning rod, I'll keep that just in case. Um, and what we'll do is I've put another round back in, so we're still shooting with 10 rounds and we'll just see what happens. Again, this is against a steel plate, so if you could not try this at home, that would be wonderful. Okay guys, so this is 10 rounds with my T04, so let's uh, put the magazine in, lock it, we're going to be on single action for every single shot, so let's see what happens. Just 10 rounds guys, let's go and have a look. Okay guys, so very interesting results. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the ninth is just up there past this dent that was caused by something else. So not as tight a grouping, but what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna load up and we'll do another 10 rounds on target and we'll see if uh, if they tighten in a little bit more, obviously with wind and things. But as I say, let's do another 10 rounds. All right, so what we're gonna do is I've got another 10 rounds loaded up. Now these are fresh rounds, so I'm not really using them. Um, it is worth noting they don't appear to be deforming in the magazine, but we'll see what happens. So again, single action only, 10 rounds onto that bottom target. Okay, so we're all clear. Now, as you'll see up in this top corner, they have all grouped in a very, very similar place. Um, 
it's probably down to my shooting, how I'm holding it, what I, yeah, it's, it's a million and one different things. But they have grouped together in a rough pattern. You can see there's definitely kind of a, a correlation there. And they're not too kind of bad, really. For those of you that have used the, um, the gamo led shot before, you'll know that you sort through a tin, you only get a couple that you can actually use. So it's nice, obviously, with these H&Ns that we can just use them. Now, apart from that one blockage, I'm not quite sure what happened there. All of the shots, um, in that last test anyway, went without fault. They cycled through, they all went in the same place. There's no highs, lows, anything like that. So they're a lot more um, uh, consistent than the Gamo, which for a Makarov shooter is gonna be really quite, uh, quite something else and quite different. Now, hopefully you've enjoyed uh, the video today. Obviously it was nice to get this one out. This hasn't been shot in, well, for as long as I can remember. So it was quite nice to have it out uh, and test. So, as I say, this was a video for Mario from uh, a couple of the Baikal forums. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. Hopefully uh, this has answered a couple of your questions. Yes, the H&N or Excite low ricochet BBs will work. And on a side note from a low ricochet point of view, apart from that very last shot where it went, I saw it come about two feet in front, all of the BBs hit the deck. I didn't have a single ball bearing come back at me and I'm not stood that far away to be honest. So that was quite an interesting test as well. So as they are, they say low ricochet, they really mean it. Now that doesn't say that you will not get a ricochet and that wearing safety specs is not a good idea. If you're going to be using anything against steel plates uh, or anything really with ball bearings, you know, eye protection is a must. So anyway guys, until our next video, hopefully you've enjoyed um, what you've seen. If you have, feel free to subscribe. Got plenty more coming up. Uh, got a review of the MMP40 from Umrex coming up, and also another Umrex product, the PPQ, which is a six mil plastic ball bearing gas blowback pistol. So again, something a little bit different. I will put more pictures up of the results today up on our Facebook page. If you want to check those out, feel free to go and have a look. Um, simply type in replica reviews uh, on Facebook and we'll pop straight up. So anyway, guys, that's me waffling on. Until our next video, thanks for watching.